For the Make Code Minute today, what I wanted to do was build a Circuit Playground Express project that would allow me to record a sequence of button presses and then have it played back. So uh, what I have is a switch on the Circuit Playground Express that puts me into record mode or play mode. So I'll go into record mode and that clears a sort of record buffer. And now I'm just going to press the buttons in, in an order. So red, red, blue, blue, blue. Now I'll switch over to playback mode and I'll press the A and B buttons and it'll play red, red, blue, blue, blue. Let's take a look at how this works. Uh, this function here is what I'm using to light things up. Uh, so I'm, I'm calling that either the left side or the, the right side. Uh, and then this is what happens when I move the switch. When I go to the uh, switch with the left, I set the record state to false. I blank all of the pixels and I turn off the red LED. When I head over to the right, I'm going to turn on that LED. I'm going to create a new array. So I essentially rebuild this array every time. And it's an empty array, so it doesn't have any data in it and it doesn't have any particular length. Um, I set a variable called pattern length to zero, so that's how long that array is at the moment. And I set this record state to true. Now what happens is when I press either the A button or the B button, these do essentially the same thing. If I'm in the record state, and I press the A button, we'll call that uh, light half of zero or one, so which, which side gets lit up. And then I'm adding an item to this array. So this pattern list array gets a value set at whichever index number we're on. We start at the first one or zero. Uh, and we set that to a zero, which stands for the left half, and I'm using a one to stand for the right half. And then we increase the pattern length by one. Uh, so then when I want to play this back, I'll press the A and B buttons together using this button A, B, click. And then it just reads through each item in that array calling that light half. So the same way I'm lighting them when I press it, it reuses that same function, but this time it's just marching its way through this array. Uh, and so this is a way that you can create a pattern recorder that could be used for a lot of different things. In this case, I'm using it for lights. And uh, that is your Make Code Minute.